How's it going guys, it's your boy Mr. Infinity1495 back again with another Netflix original video today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. Also feel free to follow my socials at Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would say join my Discord server but it's a little bit dead, perhaps I'll try and revive it after reviving this channel. Today I will be reviewing a Netflix series called Grimm. This is an American crime drama six season series that started in 2011. Its advised audience is 15 plus as it has violent language and violent bloody images. I started watching this series in July and now it's September 8th where I have finished. First I'm gonna go through and analyze and review each character. First is the main character called Nick Burkhart. Nick Burkhart is a crime detective who works in Oregon Portland in America. At first I found this character a chill and relaxed guy but later as the series goes on he changes. Nick Burkhart is a type of human called a Grimm. A Grimm is a being that can sense and see a hostile and non-hostile creature called Wesen, which in German means essence. These Wesen come in different shapes and sizes due to which class of animal they come from like arachnids and cats and so on. These Vesna are originally have the form of a human but they transform when they woge, which in German means wave. I suggest this series to someone who likes history as this series talks about stuff ranging from World War II to the time of the Crusaders and Germany. The Grimms normally hunt down bad Vesna who are evil. Nick Burkhart goes on to become a Grim who befriends good Vesna to help him with his job. Nick's friend Hank is quite a funny lad who is also a detective partnered with Nick. Hank Griffin is quite a supportive and funny fellow who is really good at acting scared and confused, especially later when he finds out about Nick's hard truth. Another friend of Nick called Sergeant Wu is a police officer who also helps Grimm with crime investigations. Wu is no doubt the most funniest character in the whole of the series, he can make humor throughout the most gruesome and heart-racing scenes. Which don't get me wrong, there is a lot. Now on to Juliet. Juliet is Nick's girlfriend who I hate so much due to her ignorance. She also becomes a Vesson later in the series which makes me hate her more. Now on to Nick's Vesson friends. First we have Monroe who is a German-American clockmaker who is a wolf type Wesson called Blutbaden, which in German means blood bay there. He's one of the scary types of Wesson that you don't want to mess with. Monroe is an easy going guy who's quite a supportive friend. Overall due to his decency I like him and he definitely makes the series iconic. Next we have Rosalie who, later becomes Monroe's wife. Rosalie is one of the most useful characters in the whole show as she has a special type of Vesson spice shop that contains remedies and herbs that could help Nick with his duty as a Grimm. Rosalie is a calm and chill character who is a cat like Vesson. Enough of the characters now, let's talk about the fighting. The numerous enemies in this series get harder and harder as the season go by. We go from the Austrian royal family to a Nazi fascist type Vesson organization called the Black Law. My favorite character in the whole series is a fighter in Hadrian's Wall called Misna. Misna is proven to be very skilled as he can fight of a type of Vesson called Hexen Beasts, which in German means Witch's Beast. Hexen Beasts are witch like Vissens who are quite evil. There are so many factors in this series that I love. Unfortunately I won't be able to fit it all in one video. I hope this review helped you get some insight into watching this series. This has been your boy Mr. Infinity 1495, and until next time.